All right, Jack Love Clark. Now, I was thinking about uh, more of this Black Lives Matter, and um, well, I came up with a few good ideas, I think, and uh, I got to give some of the credit to uh, Dr. Common Sense, of all people, E.T. Williams, okay? Uh, whatever happened to Common Sense, uh, dot com or something like that. Anyway, I'm not sure. So, uh, anyhow, this guy a while back, a while back, he's been talking about, he's like a, he's like a, kind of like a pro white black, uh, but he's less offensive than Tom, Tommy Sotomayor to a degree with the with the language anyway he uses he's just as offensive he uses uh, less um, d graphic language anyway um, but you know he um, really brought up a good idea he said you know a while back he said don't you know um, just stop going to the, just stop going to the black neighborhoods, okay? When the police, if you're a white cop, don't go to black neighborhoods. Now, this sounds crazy and nuts, okay? Right? When you think on the surface it sounds nuts. But, uh, I was doing a videos about Bloods and Crips and how, you know, it's kind of compare it to the Sunnis and the Shiites, okay? And how we need to just back away and not, you know, hand them both sides weapons, you know, to kill themselves with. And medical supplies to prolong it and food. Um, here's an idea. Okay, all these uh, communities that are angry with the, um, with the way that blacks are being gunned down. By all these white pig murder cops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're bringing gun down in the streets left and right by white police officers, racists. And everybody that's a cop is a racist, right? According to them. Anyway. So, um, what you do is, uh, and I think this is right, black community. This is what you should maybe do. Go out, the ones that are in agreement with, you know, since it's so popular. Go out, get all the petitions signed, have a petition signing in your neighborhood. Get it, get them all signed. And your petition can be this. That you do not want emergency response to your neighborhoods. Not whatsoever, for anything. That includes all the way down to the corner, because, and uh, the the nine one one, too, you know any kind nine one one fire, ambulance, police, anything like that, because if you got do you don't you know they're all one team, okay they're all one team, but um. <coughs> The reason why is because you're a victim so much, and that way you can run your own hood however you want and just have it set up that you sign the thing, waiver, and the police department, local uh, people sign it, and that they won't respond, that, that, that they're fine with this, right? And then get them off the, out of the responsibility of all of it. And you can continue on your lifestyle how you want to in your own community without these white pigs, right? These white officers you call pigs or whatever you call them, white people, the honkies, crackers, you know, all that good stuff, right? Um, Nazis, whatever you like to call them. White supremacists. 
you know. <laughs> <coughs> now imagine what happens, though. So. You have to start actually working. You know why? Because you won't be able to just ride in a car, do a drive-by, and sell crack cocaine for a job no more, where you hand out crack all day. Because somebody's going to have to be digging the holes for the bodies. Unless you're going to just leave the bodies laying in the street. But what are you going to, because the coroner's not going to come either. See, with an ambulance, you guys don't realize, you go kill people, and that same team, 911 team, comes out, and I'm not putting that out there for Freemasonic sign for anyone if you're listening to it anything like Russian vids or Gematria or whatever that numerology stuff is, okay? I'm um, using the actual emergency number, okay? Now, so if they come out, no more. Because every time you guys kill somebody that lays in the street, somebody has to pick it up. Some official city person has to pick that body up do a job by examine that body, do a full autopsy on the bodies and stuff, just to be sure, and all this crap, right? And, uh, you know, it costs a lot of money for that, okay? But you don't realize the people that drag off the bodies. Imagine if those people stopped coming out because you didn't support the police, then the ambulance will say, well, we don't want to support you then. And then the fire is going to say, we don't want to support you. And the coroner is going to say, we don't want to support you. So your bodies are going to pile up. Unless you get some of your people or find a slave to dig a hole for them bodies. Or you could burn them. Or you could do a voodoo ritual with them. Or whatever you want to do with them. Because you could reinstate voodoo. Let's get this, let's get this on. You know, let's have this done. You won't reject help from the uh, uh, police department and you won't accept these phony numbers and get caught up in this bullshit that they're trying to get you caught up in. Think, have at it. Be that dumb. Be that stupid. I know there's some black people out there smarter than that. And they know better than that. Like that one fool whose mother came out there and he was getting slapped around. Because he was out there in the Black Lives Matter protest. And he, believe me, he got in trouble. Okay? There is people, they just, even the kids that are involved in a lot of this stuff. And I'm not saying you can't, people can't have their own opinion and protest. Okay? Have your facts straight. Have your numbers straight. And do it peaceful. Peaceful demonstration. Peaceful. And the best way... I have most effective way, don't march in, in a peace in a rally in your own town. No. Get all your people together and rally to the White House. And do it hand in hand with white people. Then you'll get real support from people that has money. And I'm not talking about these Zionist Jewish sellouts. I'm talking about people, average, you know, people that has money that they work every day for. That they want to, you know, invest in a partnership with whites and blacks to m march on this White House without weapons and demand a change. The way to go about it is not, is not by the division. And when you get your facts straight, then maybe more people be willing to say, hey, you know what? I don't care what the label is, Black Lives Matter or not. It's the spirit of the movement that I want to be involved in, but your facts are, are messed up and your tactics are messed up so people don't want to be involved in your foolishness. Do you see what I'm saying? There's some black youths that understand what I'm saying. Be above it. Be smarter than that. You know this, man. All right? See, I do care about people. I'm just as passionate about uh, people and can be just as passionate about people this is not act this is for real I don't do script all right I can be just as passionate about people 
as any kind of people as my own people. But I'm not going to sit here and play like um, this isn't some bullshit, okay? That you're not being, I'm trying to help.